least with this, it seems to imply that maybe Megami is not gonna lose after all. Because if the authors make her lose this, then I will never forgive them for that. However, given how they, uh, how they have set up this thing, I think it's safe to assume that no, they're not gonna... No, she's not gonna lose. Sorry, I just had to move some ultraviolet sun. This is Shogi Kinosoma, chapter 268, and I am the anger my friend and despair viewer. First off, a brief flashback about the chef that apparently everyone calls Monarch. Man, this guy is incredibly arrogant. I hate such arrogant people in manga, but it's also so satisfying when they all face defeat, because then they realize that their arrogance really clouded them from the south. Well, no, no, from the truth. But the eeriness in the beginning is the fact that in the American South near the Mexican border, a mafia was actually going to hire Monarch to cook for a thing, but warned him that if the food wasn't satisfying, he would kill him immediately. But Monarch wasn't a, a very bit afraid, and instead just talked and, and, and actually talked back to the mafia, saying that it um, doesn't matter if you are mafia, I am the chef, therefore I am the king, and everyone is going to grovel at my feet as he even took out the nut by doing it. So, um, yes, uh, so Chef Monarch, or whatever his real name is, I guess we can call him Monarch for now, really has the arrogant view that he is the best chef there is, and he makes cook, he cooks not because he loves it, but because he loves uh, controlling people through food. As he returned to the thing, he immediately starts questioning what Megami meant with he doesn't understand hospitality. As the landlady tries to tries to take tell Megami not to get involved with this because it's dangerous, the monarch just keeps on uh, mocking the people he defeated and mentions that the reason why they closed their establishment is because he crushed their pride as chefs. Well, when you serve such high-end uh, food and then begins to brag arrogantly, of course you're going to mentally break a lot of people. Because all they took were the cooking in placement. So, uh, as Monarch just proclaims that he's going to make everyone disappear and take over there are, um, the many hotels in Japan. This is very eerily similar to what Asami wanted to do. Grant that he wanted to do it on the rest of the world later, but he also wanted to change every single restaurant in Japan. This almost sounds very eerily similar to that. Is that a coincidence? Well, who knows, but he needs to be stopped right here and now. Although I highly doubt just by cooking something more delicious he's gonna stop, but at least that will knock him out. So Megami actually washes her hand and proclaims that, would you like to taste my cooking? And if you feel like uh, it is uh, flavor enough uh, so uh, so monarch just proclaims that uh, fine i'll accept the duel but if you lose then you uh, do you and the other guy will have to become my slaves oh yes hearing that makes me sick to my stomach he is uh, so arrogant it's uh, he makes sukasa looks tame in in comparison and the funny thing is here that you, Soma asks if Megami needs any help, but she actually says she can handle this herself. Well, it's more like she says, okay, and she even agrees on the terms. This shows that Megami really has emotionally matured a lot. But she also says to the landlords, uh, which is also the typical cute Megami moments, that if he does, even if we does lose, do not close this place, because you have to clip this place open. Because a lot of people will be sad when that happens. That is Megami. So everyone who proclaims that Megami should have a dark side, I say, no, she is not. This is the Megami that is supposed to be the character that she always is. A kind-hearted girl that proclaims that you just, you cannot stop with what you love. Because people will also love it too. So Monarch walks away and waits in the guest, guest room. As Megami begins to prepare the land, the lords are very fearful of this enemy. But of course, Soma, having seen Megami's cooking personally and also knows that she now is the 10th seat, has ultimate faith in her. As we see that Megami's cooking is now so advanced that she, that she can cook and peel many roots that she found fresh ingredients in the fridge without 
Extremely, extremely fast. fast. She has yes, she has cutting. reached that cutting. Mm -hmm. Very well, very well. Is during this time, during this time, reveals that 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 there. She's the tenth seat of, Tod of uh, Totsky. While I am still very crossed over the fact that she is the tenth seat and not higher, it is still worth noting that she is in at least in the late ten, and that is good enough. So uh, she cooks the food, as Monarch still arrogantly believes as a wait for the food that no one can make me him kneel. With that, Megami enters, now wailing a Yamamoto Yu UK. Tara, as the monarch just keeps on saying that, uh, you are you dressing that because you know I'm a Japanophile? However, the only reason why Megumi dresses like that is because, well, 